In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to install an Adventure Kings DC-DC charger. These are an awesome bit of kit. They work with lead acid, AGM, and lithium type batteries by a simple press of the button. They've got quick connect plugs on the input, output, and solar, so they're super easy to connect. They have a two meter temperature sensor wire, and of course, an ignition wire, which means they're smart alternator compatible. A DC-DC charger is the most efficient and effective way to set up a dual battery system in your vehicle or trailer, so let's get into it. First of all, let's talk about a typical, really simple headboard setup where you've mounted the DC-DC charger direct to the headboard and then connected it up to your battery. They use four mounting slots, so they're basically universal. You can mount them just about anywhere. Coming out of the unit, we have three heavy duty pairs of wires, a single black wire and a single blue wire. Starting with the red and black pair that goes to this first quick connect plug, that is your battery output. And you'll also notice that each of these wires is labeled. So for this example, we've connected the red and black pair to another quick connect plug that's part of a 50 amp wiring kit, pre-fused and then connected to our auxiliary or second battery. Next up, we've got the yellow and black wires. This one's marked alternator input. This comes from your starter battery. Same idea, it's got a quick connect plug so you can easily and quickly plug in a 50 amp wiring kit. Next up, we've got the green and black wiring pair and that is for your solar input. Adventure King solar panels have a quick connect plug so it's as simple as plugging it in like this demonstration here. And that's how easy it is thanks to those quick connect plugs and using a pair of King's 50 amp wiring kits. Now, of course, every vehicle is gonna be different, but just to sum up, you've got a quick connect plug for your battery output that actually charges your second battery. You've got a quick connect plug for your alternator or starter battery input, and you've got a quick connect plug for your solar input. It couldn't be easier. Then there's the extra wires. You've got your two meter long temperature sensor that connects directly up to that negative terminal. And of course, the ignition wire which we would typically extend with some extra wire and then tie into a fuse in your fuse box using one of these double adapters so that it's powered when the vehicle is on and turns off when the vehicle is off so your unit knows when to turn on and off. You could use a SIG socket in the rear of your vehicle for the same purpose. And I'll show you that in the next super simple install where I mount a DC-DC charger directly to the battery box using the included quick connect plug to charge the battery and use the quick connect plugs for your input and solar input. There's a specific step-by-step -step install video on how I did this, so if you're interested, make sure you check it out. And finally, I'll show you how easy it is to install this Adventure Kings DC-DC charger onto a Kings 12 volt control box. Again, there's a really easy step-by-step -step install video for this one as well, but basically you just need to mount down your DC-DC charger, Cut the red and black paired wires and add a pair of ring terminals to connect to those inside terminal posts on the 12 volt control box. Then you can still use the quick connect plugs for both your starter battery input and solar input. There you go. That's just three of the many possibilities for installation of an Adventure Kings DC-DC charger into your vehicle or trailer for the ultimate dual battery setup. And it's all made so easy thanks to those quick connect plugs. 